So I'm not sure what everyone else does, but when I find a good thing, I tend to stick with it. And today, I'll be talking about Balroy. See, I've got a thing about wallets. And just like other things in my life, for example, watches and so forth, but it has to be good quality. And it's something that I'm gonna be comfortable using and something that I'm gonna be proud to put on the table in front of me. And what I mean by that is not necessarily the brand or, oh, look at this, it's a Gucci, it's a this, it's a that. It's, it's not about that. But it's about, you know, standing out for the right reason. And that's when I came across Balroy. And my first purchase from Balroy uh, was a wallet. And since then I've purchased, well, three or four different wallets and sling bags and man bags and all sorts of weird and wonderful things, right? And today I want to talk to you about a couple of wallets that I've chosen from Bellroy and why I've chosen them and take you through and get your thoughts on them perhaps as well. But more importantly is the usability. Uh, I don't want to go into too much detail around the specifications and the leather and the grain, but more the feel and the texture because there, there's plenty of videos out on YouTube around the different uh, wallets that I'll be looking at today. But more why I chose these and you know when I'd be using each one in particularly as well. Well, let's have a look. Without further ado, uh, let's just move some of these to the side and really start off with my really, really uh, slim ones. And that's where it all started. It really started with this particular uh, zip wallet, which I thoroughly enjoyed. Um, let's just get rid of some of the bits and pieces that are still floating inside. And it's a nice piece. It's got a little bit of leather inside, full leather the outside. It's got a, a SIM card insert as well, so it's great for travel. You've got the um, slot in there, which you can use to put uh, cash or uh, coins as well. But let's not do too much chit chatting. Uh, and I'll actually show you what it, what it looks like with a few cards in it. So this is the uh, Balleroy Zip Wallet, uh, my little trusted go-to wallet. Uh, it's actually called, well, the actual name is Card uh, Pocket. Um, it is a black leather, it's quite small, it's 103 by 66 uh, millimeters. And it does, well, it's meant to carry between four to 15 cards, but yeah, I'm not sure about that and trifold bills. Now it is a premium environmentally certified leather and it does come with a three year warranty from Balroy. Now, as you can see that I have used it, so it's not brand new. Um, and let me just chuck in a couple of cards just so you can have a quick look and you can tell me what uh, amount of cards you would use. But look, at the end of the day, 15 cards this day and age, I think is a, probably a bit much. So um, let's just go with a trusted, well, I don't know, let's put one in there, uh, another one in there. And let's put, I don't know, another four in here. So there's four, seven cards so far. Now, I will put some cash. So the Australian dollars. So you do have to fold it in three, which is one bit that I don't like because it's a pain because every time you do use cash, you have to sit there fumbling around at the register and fold it and this and that to make it go in there. Right, and here it is. It's into the slot. Okay, it's fantastic. And let's just put another card in there just for fun. And as you can see, when it's zipped up, it's actually still quite, quite slim, quite thin. Now, one thing that really got me with this wallet that did annoy me after a while is every now and then, I couldn't be bothered stuffing the, the notes in here, in this uh, back, area and I chuck it straight in there but then what would happen is if you don't fold it properly and sometimes the, the note will stick out as it has here and well guess what you get stuck and then you find yourself trying to zip it unzip it yeah pain in the you know where so Apart from that, that's sort of my only gripe about this wallet is you really got to make sure that it's trifold and tucked away in here. But then if you've got too much stuff, just to open this little zip 
and where the leather's tucked in, it is a bit of an effort to try and jam it in there. Anyway, that's just a quick one uh, around the card wallet. So then out came the trusted card sleeve because I thought, you know what, Sash, you don't want to carry a lot of cards around. You want to make it nice and sleeve and put it in your front pocket. So off I went on Amazon and purchased the card sleeve. Now this one is meant to hold two to eight cards. It's once again, pretty small, 103 by 77 millimeters. And it does have a quick access slot at the front and the back for your mainly used cards, a pull tab for your main card storage and once again, the famous environmentally certified leather, which is premium by Bellroy. Nevertheless, let's have a bit of a, a sticky beak. So as you can see, this is uh, quite uh, well used. And whoop, there's my little card sleeve card that comes in it. And it, it, it has been stretched, right? So now if I was to only put, actually I'll take the cards out of this one now, but just for, for an example, because the card sleeve has now been well used, it's actually stretched. So if you were to only put a, you know, a couple of cards out, well, what do you know? They will fall out. Now, in saying that, they've never fall, uh, it's never fallen out while I've been using them, but that's because I've been using a card at the back, card at the front, and how many have I got here? One, two, three, four, five cards inside and also the cache once again you gotta fold it three times which is annoying in my opinion and jam it in there all right so now in reality it still can fit a few more cards because normally i do carry more cards than this uh, but for the sake of this exercise if i now tip it over look it doesn't fall uh, and if i was to pop into the shops yep you take out your card quick access there quick access on the other side and then the pull tab which it is a little bit annoying because see how the pull tab is actually hidden right behind the card so sometimes especially if you've got you know chunky fingers like me it's hard to grab and then when you pull it out and out they come and now you have access to your cash and to your mini credit cards in there as well and just pay attention to this nice leather. I don't know if you can see it, uh, but it is a very nice leather. It says your companion for the moments ahead. Nice. And it's raw on the other side. Um, I actually went for the green color. A reason being as well, at the same time I purchased a, a, a nice green Tissot watch, which I will be doing a, a bit of a, a review. But I think the green looks amazing. Now, one thing I'd I'm not a big fan of um, is, and it's just because it's a natural product and the leather, but your imprints from your cards do start to show after a while. Now, not the end of the world. It just means that you've used your, wall, your wallet uh, well. And as you can see here, because I have been using my wallet, it started to build a bit of a bump from the cards, um, but that's what makes it what it is. And that's what gives it the nice, soft, feeling now mind you i'll tell you one thing the leather from balroy is amazing it is so soft uh, after you've used it it is just really nice to hold really nice to, to handle um yeah so that's the other sleeve well so that brings me now to the node sleeve so that this was my next stage of uh, balroy which was well let's get a wallet that's actually going to have somewhere to store your notes because i decided that well I'm going to carry notes. Anyway, without further ado, this is the note sleeve from Balroy. Um, if you have a look at the specifications here, it, it does have a bit of detail, but it does have quick access slot for up to three daily cards. It has a section for the flat bills. It does have concealed pockets for business cards or coins. It's got a pull tab for up to eight cards, three year warranty, and again, made from the environmentally certified leather that Bellroy uses. So this wallet, it's a very recent uh, purchase. It, I went for the black this time, a bit, bit classic. And as you can see inside, 
uh, very similar to the other one. You've got a quick slot here, two slots here. You've got the trusted pull tab for internal cards. And this is where it gets a little bit, I suppose, different with these note sleeves. So you've got the section there for your, for your notes. And as you can see just here, it does have, well, I wouldn't call it a secret compartment, but it does have a little slot uh, right there where you can actually add some cards. And right at the back, uh, it does have an RFID pocket. Now, I've seen a few videos on this myself and I'm not sure that the actual RFID does work. Nevertheless, it's in there. And what happens there is once you open it, you then have access, whoop, slippery little bugger, uh, to another pocket in there where you can add some extra cards. So let's just have a look. Uh, normally I do carry seven cards myself, hence why I keep using these seven all the time. So I take out the Bellroy little card there. So credit card number one in there, quick access card in there, another quick access card in there. Let's do three this time on the inside with the pull tab. And uh, look, just for fun, we'll add one in that little card slash business card slot right in there, as you can see. And let's get some coins. Um, who's got coins lying around these days? Anyway, we'll add a couple of coins in here. And last but not least, the trusted dollars in the note section and there you go now one thing about adding coins to these wallets which i thoroughly dislike is the bulge so as you maybe say so look at this now imagine having a few coins in here and after a while i reckon there's gonna be little uh bumps throughout the whole wallet which will annoy the living daylights out of me i like my leather to be smooth and soft and the coins well not so cool for me Anyway, it is there for a reason. You can use it. I never have because I didn't want to damage my wallet. Um, one other thing I noticed with this pull-out tab, now it's gonna make me, make me look like a lie, but sometimes when I pull it, I knew that's gonna happen. They came out quite nicely this time, but they don't come out as easy as they should because one will bend, aha, there we go, and they get stuck. But first of all, problems, um, it is quite convenient. So as you can see, the wallet, itself is quite slim uh, it is a good looking wallet nice uh, quality leather but then why on earth did I go buy another one well that's because I felt that well I was so used to using my little card sleeve as you can see it's a lot smaller and then I decided to you know purchase something a little bit bigger and it did take up more space and I wasn't you know I'm not carrying too much stuff around so I thought you know what sash I think you should go get another one. So I did. And this time I opted out for the minimalist. And this one came with a slim sleeve. So you got note sleeve and the slim sleeve and the key cover. So, there you go, open all this stuff. And there we are. Blue, green, black. Why don't I have one of each color, right? So the slim sleeve, uh, according to Bellroy, can hold anywhere between four to eight cards. It is 95 to 80 uh, mil in size, so it's it's a lot smaller. It's actually even smaller than my, my card one, uh, according to the specifications. I tend to slightly disagree. And um, it does have a much slimmer profile. It's got the, the two quick access uh, card slots, unlike the Note. Uh, it's still got the pull tab, and you can fold the bills into two or three folds. Now that's what got me, right? Because as I said earlier, I don't like uh, having the notes folded so many times, but why not try now and see if uh, this is gonna be a keeper or not? Because, well, I'll see whether all my notes and cards and bits and pieces are gonna fit. So you got the trusted pull tab that Bel Belroy has done really well. Um, yep, lovely. Nice brown leather on the inside and this navy blue actually they, they call this blue something different it's called 
Um, I don't know. I did see it somewhere. Anyway, whatever. It's blue. Uh, so let's just take the cards out and see how they fit into this little beast. So we've got the three in there. Another four. Get in there here, bugger. Oh, that's stretching the friendship a bit. So he's got five on the inside, two on the outside. Oh, wow. Oh, I like it. It fits neatly. And this time I'm going to fold these notes to half. I have no problem folding in half. I do have a problem folding it three times because it's a pain. And let's just try and shove them in there. And what I wanted to see if it's going to fold. <gasps> it folds. Winner, winner, chicken for dinner. I love it. Check this out. How nice and minimalistic is this wallet? It is absolutely stunning. It is soft to touch and it's very small. I can put it in my front pocket, back pocket, shirt pocket, and it's not gonna stick out. Um, one thing I'm not sure about is these five cards on the inside there because it does look a bit cramped and I reckon I'm gonna stretch it too quickly. Let's see if I can even take it out. One, two, three. Yeah, woo, yep, okay. So why don't I leave three in there? Go back in there. Okay. And I can put two behind the notes. Aha! We now have a winner. You know what? This is a keeper. How nice is the Balroy? It's embossed in there, and you got the nice contrast yellow stitches. I love it. So as I was saying, uh, the stitching, how good's that? Such a beautiful, beautiful color. I really like the, um, the little brown pull tab that's tucked away there. I do enjoy the yellow stitching that's across the sides, uh, the front and the back, and the nice blue. Now, this uh, minimalist kit did come with a little key uh, holder as well, which I'm not really gonna go into. I mean, it is very, very nice. I, I own the um, a larger version of this, which has the keys on one side, then it's got keys on the other side as well. So you can carry up to six keys. But this again, really snaps nicely with a magnet, but it really goes with the whole minimalist look. I mean, if you have a look at how these align together, You've got a beautiful little leather wallet and the matching keychain. I mean, so as I said, that was my little uh, Bellroy Prezzo. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I, I do invest in you know, quality products and I'm not fussy. It doesn't have to be you know, very expensive brands and whatnot. Don't get me wrong, Bellroy isn't cheap. Uh, if you have a look at the website, most of these wallets are about sort of the 80 to $90 mark. But I also think that, you know, most people, unlike me, would buy the one wallet and they'll probably use for a couple of years. Um, unless you're like me and you want one for every occasion or one to match your watch or whatever the case may be. And you do over commit to too many wallets. But you know what, whatever makes you happy. And I'm happy with what I've purchased. I can rotate, chop and change based on uh, the uh, event. And the latest one is phenomenal. So once again, thank you for watching. My name is Sash on ST Reviews and take care and brush your hair.